Hello and welcome to the April 2019 Golden Tote unbagging um, of both a large uh, regular tote and then a mini tote. Um, I will go ahead and pull everything out for you and I've gone ahead and taken photos of me wearing the outfits um, that came with this tote and so I will make sure to intersperse every uh, time that I mention uh, an outfit or a piece I will say and here's a photo of me wearing it. Um, as you know, I'm a big fan of uh, Golden Tote and March didn't actually have a tote. I did film a mystery tote that I had purchased. There was actually a leftover from February and I never got a chance to um, get that uploaded. I'm sure I will at some point because it's a mystery tote. So it's not as like time sensitive as these monthly totes are. Anyhow, they use the same bag as they did back in February and in March and now in April again, but that's okay because I really do like this design. So having a few extra of these adorable bags is not a big deal. I'm totally fine with that. Um, so at the very so at the very least, you should understand if you've never used Golden Tote before, they have um, a system where you pick out an item on their website that you like and then you go ahead and either ask for a mini tote, um, which is one chosen item from their website, and then they surprise you with the mystery item. Uh, that's, I believe, about $60. Or you can get the larger tote, which is you pick, I believe it's two items, and then you get three mystery items. Um, I went ahead and did uh, a large tote and then a mini tote. So I ended up having three chosen, I believe, and for mystery and here's the thing though if you are in the golden tote training group which is on Facebook you can actually have some of the surprises spoiled for you and then you can go and like download the photos and then create a collage out of them and if I think of it I'll kind of show you one of the collages I've saved um, right here So you can see exactly what our uh, Golden Tote collages look like for those of us who have been members for a while and know to do surprise collages if there is a surprise you'd really like. Um, actually, no, I didn't create a collage this month. Um, so what I did when I showed you is I just had created a collage from the items I sent to a stylist who emailed me and said, by the way, I went ahead and styled your tote. And I'm like, wait. I had some surprises I wanted, so I just sent her a bunch of the ones I liked. So here is my golden tote receipt for last month. And there's a lot of items listed on here. And that is because I purchased a lot of items. So the chosen ones I decided on were a groovy mini dress, the Bloom Baby Bloom dress, the Little Lady Bug Tee, and the Charleston Days Cotton Top. So a total of four chosen. So I must have added on one, and it says I added on the Little Ladybug tee. So I must have added that on to um, either the mini or the larger tote. I have no idea. I don't remember which one I did. Um, and you can add on, if you want more than just two chosen or one chosen, you can choose to add on an additional item. Then I received as my, um, my surprises was the Final Touch Floy Woven Dress with Elastic Waist, the Mochi Palm Print Dress, the Paper Crane Floral Print Chop, and the Paper Crane Ribbed Wrap Dress. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down here and I'll refer to it when I get to each item. Alright, so first up is, this is actually a surprise item that came with, I believe, my larger tote. But again, I have no idea because they all came together in one tote rather than send me two separate totes, one mini, one large. I just got one large. And this is a rayon dress and it's a very simple design. I could actually probably sew this up pretty quickly. But to be completely honest with you, I really don't like working with this rayon chalet because it's very slippy and fussy. And honestly, rayon chalet is inexpensive enough that if somebody else makes it for me, I'm completely fine with them going through the heartache of trying to figure out <laughs> like how it works. I received this one in a large, and although I'm a size 6 up top and a size 10 on bottom, I'm glad they did send me the large. I kind of like how flowy it is on the top half, and it's a little unstructured on the bottom half, but not so much that I would have been comfortable 
wearing um, something in a medium that tight on my lower half. So it was a good call to send me the large. Um, it doesn't have pockets. It's just a very simple dress. It's long in the front, long in the back, and shorter on the sides. So it's a little bit unusual. Um, it feels weird to have that much of my thigh exposed on my side. But this is going to be a great one for summertime because then I'm a little bit less, um, I don't know, conservative with my legs. Partially because I've been running around or I've been swimming, so I feel more comfortable with my body in general. Um, so here's a photo of me with the, I believe this was the, oh, it's the final touch. Size large. Um, flowy, flowy woven dress with elastic waist right here. Okay, so next up we have, I'm going to keep this closer because it's hard to reach down there. This is a chosen item, and it is one by Karen's Armoire, and it's a size medium. It's very large, actually. I could have probably gone with a small, although if I had gone with a small, I would have found that it's too short in the front, and you'll see why in just a minute. It's definitely in need of a press or two. Um, when I wore it in the photo, it's you can tell that it has not been ironed or washed and hung up. But it's very soft, very comfortable. I don't believe it's a cotton. Just check the fabric um, con contents right now. And of course, here I am looking for it and I can never find it when I need to. Um, okay, well, this is not even one that has it on the back. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. If I find it before the end of the video, I'll we redesign but it's not it's it's like a cotton poly or maybe it's a rayon anyway it's wrinkly so it's probably got a little rayon or cotton in it um it is a roller it has it has the ability to roll up the sleeves i did not roll up the sleeves but it did look really cute on the model rolled up um right here you'll see her with it rolled up um this is going to be really fun in the summer. It'll be a great swimsuit cover-up. I don't know if I love it enough to just be like, I want to wear this out to dinner. It is so comfortable and relaxed and you can just slip it on and take a walk. You know, I definitely don't see myself wearing this in the winter time, but I can see myself wearing it in the summer. Just easy breezy. And so that one is, again, the... I guess it's the Bloom Baby Bloom dress and a size medium. And I could have sized down to a small, but it would have been shorter in the front, I bet. And here it is on me. So next up, I've got the Groovy Mini dress. And oh boy, is this mini. I am five foot eight and a half, almost five foot nine. And almost all of my length in my body is in my legs. So this mini dress, is um i don't know i love it i think it's gorgeous it's buttoned up it's actually quite well made um but i had to buy this in a large and when you see my photo wearing it you're gonna see that if you're larger than me even by like a centimeter it won't fit um it fit but just so if I lose five pounds, it'll fit a little bit better. If I gain five pounds, forget it. It's not. I'm never going to be able to wear it again if I gain five pounds. Um, I believe this is a poly. It is not stretchable. So, yeah. Um, I have to wear this with leggings or denim leggings or really, really opaque tights in order to make this even slightly wearable because it is my fingertips just touch the edge of it and you know I don't think I had I'd have to have my back to the wall basically in any party I go to otherwise people are gonna get like well that's a whole lot of back thigh she's throwing showing <laughs> so it's a navy size large I'm a six and a ten remember so if you are any bigger than that this is not gonna fit you in fact it kind of reminds me like if you go on to like that site wish and you buy something that's like an extra large and it barely fits someone with a size 12 waist you're just like um okay I'm not quite sure how this is a size extra large but um it's it seems like it's Asian sizing I guess it's what I'm trying to say because what I've noticed is that um places that sell 
clothing um, for the Asian market, a size large would be something, I guess, that a size six, size 10 bottom in the United States would be able to wear um, and not even that comfortably. So I'm going to keep it because I think it will look super cute with very opaque tights or a very nice set of like leggings. So I'm, I think it'll, and I am actually losing weight. I've lost like five pounds in the past month. So I think the trajectory is continuing to go downward. I had a slip upward last year when I had a rough year. And um, if you read my blog or you read my blog, you might have read more about that journey of mine and how tough it was. But um, so now that I'm starting to lose a little bit of weight, I think this will become even more comfortable and even cuter because I think it looks really nice in the photo. It's just a whole lot of my leg showing. So if you want to look at that, it's right now. All right, and next we have um, another chosen, and this was the Charleston Days Cotton Top. This is 100% up my alley. It's a skies are blue. It's a size medium. It's this beautiful cotton gauzy fabric with um, little point, I think it's called point tell when they do that, and it's little sweet buttons and a tie and fluttery sleeves. I mean, you know, this is 100%, sorry, I have to reach for this again, 100% my style, and um, it fits great. I bought it in a size, it is cotton. I bought it in a size medium. I probably could have sized down to a small. I almost think it's a little bit too full in the upper hip, but with the right um, type of lower half, like a pair of shorts or a, or a pair of more fitted pants, it's cute. I actually wore, I styled it with a pair of shorts that I got in um, a Stitch Fix. That will be another video that I'll be publishing in a couple of days. And so here's what it looks like with the shorts. All right, next up we have another chosen and then I'm going back down to a couple more surprises and then I'll be done with the bag. This is the Little Ladybug T size medium. It feels like a linen. I'll check on the um, materials in a second. This is by Dance and Marvel. And it's got little ladybugs all over it and this, these super fluttery sleeves. I mean, they are almost flamenco dancer size sleeves, but this is really comfortable, really, really comfortable. I definitely could have sized down in this. This is a size medium and it's, it's quite large on me. It's not a big deal though. I love the looseness. I can wear it with like a more fitted bottom and not feel like I'm revealing too much. I went ahead and styled this um, with the blue shorts that I got in the Stitch Fix, um, just like I did with the top. And so here it is on me right now. All right, so I've got three, uh, three, excuse me, three surprises. This was the surprise I saw and was like, wait, I've got a couple surprises I want. I saw this on their site and just flipped out. Um, so the Golden Trading Group had this surprise um, spoiled. And look at that floral print. It's so pretty and tiny, teeny little pemplum sleeves that you can barely tell her there. It's by the brand Lazy Sunday and it's in a size medium. She reached out to me and asked if I wanted to get it in a size small and I'm like, well, if it's a little longer than 25 inches, let's go ahead and go with the medium. I'm glad I went with the medium because I think if the small had come in, it would have actually been too tight at the hip because it has the knot in the front. What's really cool though, even though I wore it untucked with the little knot in the front, I discovered that if you untie this knot, it's super easy to tuck it into um, like a skirt or a pair of jeans because it's long enough that it is tuckable and it looks really pretty tucked in as well. I don't have a picture of me wearing it untucked um, or tucked in, but um, hopefully I'll wear it again soon so you all can see it when it's tucked in. And so the picture of it with me wearing it um, out a couple of days ago is here. All right, next up we have the Paper Crane Ribbed Dress, Ribbed Wrapped Dress, and this is 
Oh, and by the way, I believe the floral top was also a paper crane. Let me just check. No, it says Lazy Sundays. I'm not quite sure as to why it says paper crane, floral print top. Anyhow, so here is the Lazy Sun. They both say Lazy Sundays. So they must have gotten the, on the thing it says paper crane, but it's actually Lazy Sundays. Just hold on two seconds. Angus, I love you. Bye, honey. Go upstairs. My son's down here. Bye, Angus. Goodbye. Okay, he's doing Fortnite dances. I'm just going to let him do that, and then he'll go back upstairs. This is a Lazy Sundays um, ribbed wrap dress. This is a size medium in the color black, and it is just a basic little wrap dress. I mean, there's not much you can say about it other than it's a wrap dress Hello, that's super soft. Mom. Hold on one second. Angus, I need you to go upstairs. Thank you. Goodbye. All right, and so I'm back. My Angus went back upstairs. He's a lovely little guy, but he's just trying to distract me. So I took care of him, and I let him go back upstairs. And he's still trying to talk, but I'm going to talk and know that he will get attention from me in about 10 minutes when I take him somewhere. This is just a very simple black dress. It's short-sleeved. I mean, you can't really say much about it, but I will tell you the truth. I don't have any dresses like this. I have a bunch of dresses that are floral, that are animal print. I have bright neon, I have green, but do I have a simple black wrap dress? That is a no. That is because I don't normally wear black and I don't normally wear wrap dresses. However, this combo is actually pretty nice and I think it's gonna go great when I just wanna wear something super simple and maybe something like a scarf or like a more intricate necklace um, that I wanna show off. It actually fits me well. It's um, a little short but again I'm almost five foot nine um, and I believe this is rayon so I think this is one of those that I'm gonna have to like definitely make sure I hang to dry yeah it's rayon spandex so I'm gonna have to be very careful with that um, so it doesn't get any shorter but cute for a cover-up when I'm at the beach when I'm you know at the pool it could just be a slip on and go um, I've been called to do something in the middle of the summer I don't know I don't think I'll wear it to school. I think it's too short for that, but very cute. I'm glad I put that in my collage, even though I don't normally go for black. Um, and finally, last but not least, something I've actually already worn to school, and this is Mochi, and it is the size large palm print dress. And I mean, this color green and this color pink, it's right up my alley. It is knee length, it has a little bit of intricate detail at the waist um, that allows it, um, it's like a knot detail. Um, I don't know if I needed the large. I'm glad they sent the large because it is a rather thin material and I don't want it stretching on me too much, but I think I could have gone with the medium and it would have fit just fine. Um, it's kind of loose through the, the top especially, um, but again, I'm not, I'm not mad at it and honestly, even if I lost a little bit more weight, it still fit fine. It's just a little loose and it's comfortable that way. Wore it with tights. It looked great. I felt comfortable the whole day. So big fan of this. Really glad they sent it to me. Um, and um, I don't, I believe I didn't show the black dress, but if I did, I will not show you the black dress now and show you the green dress. But just in case, if I didn't show you the black dress, it's right here. And this beautiful mochi um, palm print dress is right here. Okay, well, thank you for enjoying my golden tote on bagging for April of 2018. Um, a lot of hits, one that is only a hit if I don't gain an ounce, um, and only if I wear it with leggings. Um, don't think they have an extra large, uh, so gonna figure it out um and the other ones were all winners they all felt great on they look great um can't complain I think I think we did well this month golden tote so thank you for having some really beautiful options and thank your staff for working with me on my surprise spoilers I really appreciate them giving me an opportunity to um throw at them a few surprise spoilers at the last minute 
All right, y'all have a good time. And if you remember and you're interested, um, go ahead and click subscribe down below. I'd love to have a few more followers on this channel. I know I sporadically post um, based on my schedule at school, but I love interacting with you when I can. And if you have content on YouTube and would like me to follow you back, I will. All right, you have a lovely day and we'll see you in May for the Golden Tote 2019 Unbagging.